wants to do the he wants to do Brent, it. Why don't you do the uh, why don't you do the intro today, Brent, since you feel so uh, sleepy. <laughs> All right, so here we are, early morning, ready to go out for some spirit Start with Heidi Ho -Pee. So Heidi Ho people, <laughs> I'm kind of standing in place for Greg Woodby this morning. We're going out to see if we can't find us some fish. It's nice to have you all along. Got Beth here and Combs and Captain Woodby and I'm Bryn. We'll see you all later. He's now Captain Woodby and Pilot Woodby. Yeah, well, so he's just, had his air, yeah. now he's getting his water. Yeah. <laughs> that's just showing off now. I know. <laughs> that's right. That's how we live, Woodby style. <laughs> all right, let's do it, people. Alright, go ahead, Beth. Keep up Ah! Keep up there. Keep up there. Go spin it! Is it up here? Haha, feel it. Hey, feel it. So this fiasco is entirely my fault. I did not brief her well that it's red snapper season and we are killing red snapper. And she's like, why are we trying to kill these fish? Why are you trying to point these fish out to me? Because it's red snapper season and they're silver underwater because we're 60 feet down. But she understands what I'm saying eventually. So after all of that, she's very mad at me still. Why? Because I turned to go get the anchor when she actually takes the shot. Well, in my defense, I didn't think she was actually going to shoot it, but she did. <laughs> and she stones it, no less. Oh, well. But, great shot, Beth. So I know you haven't seen this kind of footage in a while. Uh, the Mega Cat's kind of too big. Uh, I'd have to have cameras mounted all over the thing to get this kind of footage. But uh, I can do it on the Huntress. I always love this because I call this the fish up video. Because we yell fish up and then we go get the fish. So right there to the right you see that big sand hump. Beth and I had went on a long swim after the ledge fell away and it was just kind of a, a sand hill. No fish, no nothing, just sand. And we were about to come up because it's toward the end of our dive and then the ledge picked back up again and right there where it picked back up there were fish everywhere. After I shoot a gag right here uh, and we were ready to come up and we went on top of the ledge and I tossed the anchor to, to, to come up, gags came out of all of these rocks. It was a really good sight. I'm looking forward to going back there in the fall trying to hit this spot again. <laughs>
again got some uh, fish up footage for you here this is the guy that I just shot um, sent it up and then Beth and I are really coming up right behind it uh, before we uh, take Brandon Combs over for their dive I'm happy with that considering very happy in fact So we got some foreshadowing going on here. The name of this ledge should give you a good indication of what you're about to see. Just saying. So I've always been on the fence about free shafting, but I figured I'd try it again for a while. I actually hit that fish and it swam underneath and it yanked out that shaft. That's happened to me like the last two or three dives consistently. I think I need to go back to a line. Yet another reason I should have been using a line. Well, at the very least, I would have had my power head and my shaft back if I didn't get the cobia. So, I have to tell you, I love Copia. I respect him a lot. This is Fred. Um, Fred is going to show you just how tough Copia are. Those fish are tough as nails, man. It's, they're just, it's nuts. So, he's already put one shaft in it, and it pulled off. So he's going to go put another shaft in. Now I wish my cobia had actually hung out on the bottom like this, but I didn't I didn't have that look. Um but again, I mean check this out. That's just crazy, man. Look. Tough as nails. All right, so Fred's had enough of this. It's time to pull out the power head and, and, and put this fish out of its misery. Now that power head went off and that fish is still swimming. Like I said, tough as nails. So that is the second power head. You know I'm going to say it. Tough as nails.
so this is actually the same lobster. He went in that hole, and I was like, oh, Combs, nope, 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 we're not done. Uh, we're going to teamwork this thing out of this hole. And that's exactly what we did, even though he tried to come back at me. I'm like, nope, 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 nope. Combs has got a date with you, brother. You're going back the other direction. <laughs> That was a nice lobster, but it looks at Carlton and says, Ha ha, I don't think so, sucker. Uh, I've seen this, I've seen this uh, show, and I'm not going to be the star. But, I feel like I need to tell a joke here. What do you get with two bugs, a stringer, and a float? Well, you get dinner! That's what you get. See you later, dinner. So the start of this dive was horrible. Uh, Carlton and I both came down with a nasty case of suck. So that's Carlton's fish right there with the nick in its head. It's probably a good thing you didn't shoot at Carlton. I think he's too small. I think it was a baby. A baby! Might be wondering what I'm doing here because I obviously broke its back, but I couldn't figure out if I just need to go over and grab it or shoot it again. Uh, and about that time I was going to shoot it again, it floats down right in front of me. I was like, okay, well, maybe I'll just grab it. And then it kind of swims off. But uh, Carlton uh, solves that problem for me. Clear! 
So this is Carlton bringing me his sniper. Uh, at the same time, over to the right, you can't see it on because it's outside the camera view. Combs is shooting his sniper. So we shot all three of us shot our sniper uh, for the trip within 10 seconds of each other. It's just crazy. Yeah, you know we're going to have some slow mo on that. You see here the fish starts backing up, but I have no excuse for that because when I pull the trigger, you can clearly see I shot way high, man. I mean, way high. That was ridiculous. I hate that I was not closer uh, to the action over here, so you can kind of get a better idea of what's going on. But Comb shoots a nice gag down, uh, like in a crack, and it pins it down to the clay and he can't get the shaft out so carton comes over pulls the fish off and uh works on the fish while combs tries to get a shaft out of the clay good teamwork good gag <laughs> So Beth did a really good job with the snapper. She shot the biggest one of all of us. And uh, Fred did a great job with his cobia, of course. Uh, I wish we had more uh, days in snapper season. We made the best of, best of what we could get. Shot some gags, got some lobster along the way. But two days is just not enough.